Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Couples Channel. If you are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is the review of Power. Yes, Season 3, Episode 8. Guys, now let me just jump right on in this. Because this episode was so good, guys. It had me on the edge of my seat every few minutes. Guys, I watched it twice because it was just that good. If you guys are not watching Power, I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know where you at. I don't know what you're watching, but you ain't watching the right thing. You need to be watching Power. Yes, this is one of 50 Cent shows. Guys, this show is so good. So, anywho, y'all, we're going to just jump right on in. Guys, the show starts off with um, Davis has been drinking. Yes, he's on the rooftop. He's been drinking. You know, Davis is the uh, attorney of Monet, Tyrese. Whenever they get in trouble, that's who they call Davis. And he got the snitch working with him, Sax. Yes. So Sax comes up there checking on him. Whatever. So he comes up there checking on him. He tells him, stop. You can't come up here. You can't come near me unless you got some more drinks. So they just talking a little bit. And uh, Davis gets a call saying that um, Diana was arrested. So Sack's like, well, you can't go in there like this. Uh, I'll go and I'll take care of it. Y'all know why he want to take care of it. Because he a snitch. And he want to um, know all the information so he can report it back to the police. Yep, that's what he's trying to do. So, um, Davis agrees. And so, Sax, he on his way um, to the um, the precinct. So, it goes on over to Monet's house. Uh, Kane is saying that he's going to go and find out what is going on. He's going to the college campus to see if he can get anything, um, any details, information about what Diana had going on at the college. So he goes to Effie's apartment. So Effie answers the door and uh, he's like, well, you know, do you know anything? You heard anything about anything Diana was doing? So Effie tells Kane that she was um, she was selling from out of the candy store. Yes. And we all know she was doing that. I told y'all that last week. So she's selling from out the candy store. And so then they just having a little conversation. So Kane, he's just trying to get the uh, information and bounce. But Effie, that wasn't on her mind. What was on Effie's mind was some sexual healing. She wanted to see what it do. Yes. So, anywho, y'all. And after being with little scrawny um, uh, Tyrese, I don't blame her. So, anyway, y'all. So, they, um, they kissing and carrying on. I'm like, okay. But I think these two are a cute couple. I wanted them to get together because I like their vibe. So anyway, guys, they uh end up sleeping together. So Diana is at the precinct. So uh Sax is on his way there. Uh Jenny and uh her other detective friend is questioning Diana, right? So uh they telling her that uh if she don't um confess and tell them something, she can uh be in jail for nine years. That's what she looking at. And so she playing alone. She like, oh, really? You know, because she's, she's looking out for her family at the same time. So they ain't really scaring Diana. Dan Diana know what's up. So, um, um, Davis goes back to his office. Tyrese end up coming to his office. Tariq end up coming to his office telling him that, uh, uh, sex is a snitch. He's not a snitch, but he's working with the other side, with the FBI. So, Davis is pissed. So, he grabs his gun. He like, uh, he finna get dealt with. That part right there. And so, uh, Tyrese like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. He, you know, he, they gonna be looking for him. They know who he is, all that. So, he, you know, he trying to bring himself down a notch. So, now he's saying he going up to the precincts because he sent Sax up there and he know he can't trust him now. So, of course, he want to know what's going on. So, he races on up there. He got his drink. He in the car. He end up at the precinct. He's drinking uh out of his little cannon first. And then, once he gets inside, he's drinking his coffee. So, he sees um Sax 
and Jenny talking about what they gonna do. And he like, oh, okay, I see you. I got you. That's what Dave is thinking. So he goes on in there with Diana. And Sax just follows on up behind him. So he trying to tell Diana don't say certain stuff, but trying to give out, you know, key things not to say nothing. Because Sax is right there. And Sax is trying to make her do say something. So he pushes the coffee over on him because he want him, uh, want him to, you know, leave out so he can slide Diana a note, letting her know that this dude up to something. So he said he tells her to, uh, switch it on over to, uh, Effie. But meanwhile, Tyrese has ran, Tariq has ran on over there to Monique and them, letting them know that, uh, yes, they trying to get us on a Rico. Yes. So, uh, um, Drew and Monet is like, what? They can't believe it that they're trying to get them on a Rico. So, y'all, Kane then messed around and spent the night with Effie, you know, doing the do all night. So, then they wakes up and he like, he gotta go. Because it's, um, Monet calling him like, where are you? So, um, Effie like, you ain't gotta be calling to check up on me and all of that. And, um, he like, he know, but they still got business together. So Tyree comes on over and telling Effie that he got a job for her and all of that. So uh, she agrees to it. Meanwhile, over at the uh, Tejadas, Monet is having a little meeting with, um, uh, I forget their name, the other family name, uh, like Arabs. Um, I don't know if they're Arabs or what they is, but they're another um, gangster family. And that is the family of Drew's boyfriend that he shot, that I told y'all he shot last episode. So that's that that's his family. So they trying to tell them to lay low until they get all of this stuff together with this Rico charge. So the mother, she's leaving out. So she's asking Drew, have you talked to him? Drew like, um, uh, no, I haven't talked to him. She like, well, uh, are y'all okay? And he like, yeah, we good, we good. So then, um... They walks on out. But the mama and the brothers are suspicious that something else is going on. And y'all know what I want to say last time, but I didn't get to tell y'all. Drew need to sit down somewhere because he let his emotions get the best of him. With all these different men and relationships and stuff. Dude, if you can't handle your emotions, then you just need to... um. You just need to not be involved in a relationship. And he falls so quick for these dudes. I'm like, what's wrong with you? So, Brayden is at his place. And um, the, the young lady that he was sleeping with over there at uh, the company. I forget her name, y'all. But she comes over making threats, idle threats of what he need to do. And get in check and get in line and all of that. And he looking at her like she crazy and like, you know, uh, what y'all doing ain't right to people. And she like, well, you a drug dealer. What you doing ain't right to people. So, finally, Kane makes an appearance over there to Monet. Because she been calling him all morning. And he been over there just in La La Land with Effie. And uh, Monet is like... Like, she ain't stupid because he tried to say, I've been trying to find out about Diana. She like, no, no, dude. I know what you've been on. Don't play with me. So she knows that he over there uh, climbing up in the, in, in the ocean. She, she know. She know. So, Kane, he just shut up and he don't say nothing because he know that's what he was doing as well. I'd here for them trying to set Effie up. He ain't here for it, and he letting people know he's not here for it. So, Brayton and uh, Tyrese, they're at work, and they're talking about uh, all these different things they got going on, what's going on at the uh, we we Western Holden. I think that's their last name. They talking about that, y'all. They talking about the Rico uh, that they trying to get on them. They talking, because over at the... Um, the building that they work at is a Ponzi scheme going on where they just taking these people money and uh, they don't get nothing back for their money. And they think that they do. So they got that piece of it going on and they got the Tahada's money tied up in it. RJ's money tied up in it. He's a, a millionaire. It's just crazy. So they trying to figure out how they can uh, dead this issue and get all this stuff uh, together. Uh, and y'all know that uh, Tariq, he knows that Lauren is alive, but he ain't telling nobody. Lil B, that's what he is. He a Lil B. I'm so mad at Tariq for uh for, for ho withholding that. And Effie only tried to do this, trying to save him. Because Brayden couldn't do it. Y'all, I'm so mad at, at, at everybody about trying to do Effie wrong. I don't know what to say about these traitors. 
So anyway, y'all, Monet, she didn't went over there to meet with the uh, Weston brother because she want to know where the heck is her money. And she want to introduce herself in person. And she want to let him know, look, when I call, you answer. So he's over there with his buddies and they all just looking at her like, oh, okay. So Sax is over there with Diana at the precinct and um, Davis is gone. So she sending him all around the mulberry bush of uh, this false information that um, that uh, Davis wanted her to say because they wanted him to look like an idiot, which he did. Because he went back and gave the other detectives this information and they started following Effie. So they started following Effie and thinking that she finna lead them to a big old drug bust and all that. And she didn't lead them to nothing. It was only sugar in there. And so they had to let her go. So then um, Jenny, she's real mad at sex. She contacts him and say, you know, it wasn't nothing but sugar. They get into it real bad. He said that it'll never happen again with them sleeping and creeping on the side. And she say she ain't getting nobody to watch his back. So he know he got to watch his back now. So y'all, Drew is over there in his feelings yet again about his ex-lover that is a basketball player. And he on TV with his new lover. And so he didn't kill his lover. You know, it's just crazy. So he throwing stuff all around the room and Kane comes up there asking him what's wrong and all that. Guys, like I told y'all, he, he need to get his emotions under control because he doing too much and he making himself look real stupid. I think 50 Cent, come on now, reel this character back in. I, I'm starting not to feel him because he acting like a little too much simpish. If he can't deal with having these relationships with these men's, don't have one so you got mr tate he's on the stage he's talking and carrying on and then we got Braden and his uh father and the uncle that's over the western inf uh stuff they're there in the audience they looking because you know they real shady you know they 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 taking people monies uh and thinking and the people thinking that they getting a good deal that this is a uphill company and stuff and it's really not so y'all know uh Tate, he is a uh, shady too. And so his girlfriend is there and she's telling him after he speaks on stage that uh, she don't want him intertwined and uh, having meetings with them and all of that. He lies and say he ain't gonna have a meeting with him. And he really does have a meeting with him behind her back. And he said, well, he don't like to lose. And they gave him a big um, contribution um, to his campaign. And she said, okay, well, that's fine. Well, then you lost me. So she walks. So David's brother comes to uh, his office and he's saying that he's getting treatment. He's getting help. Everything is looking better. So Davis, you know, like he needs to speak to his brother alone because Sax was in the office too. Davis confides in his brother and tell his brother that um, Sax have betrayed him and the brother, he feeling some type of way. And so um, he tells him, you know, you, you got to stop thinking you always the smartest person in the room. So I knew the brother was up to something. Once he uh, gave him that crazy look, y'all, I knew this was not going to end well for somebody. So Tyrese then got RJ involved. Um, that's one of the guys that put a lot of his money into the uh, Western uh, building place. And so um, he's telling him it's a Ponzi scheme and they trying to figure out what they can do to get the money back and all of that. So then they go and meet with... Um, Braden's uncle about all of this and he was like he want his money back or he gonna be reporting him and Tyrese give him back his money as well as the Tejadas and he like well he gonna see what he can do and he like no I want my money back in my account in X amount of days and X amount of months weeks or whatever so uh he agrees that he's going to do that so let's talk about Drew one one more again one more again y'all Drew he didn't went to the same restaurant as the ex-boyfriend and his love so he is making a spectacle of himself, you know, saying what happened um, to his lover and he's not around no more and all that. So his ex-lover gives him a hug and stuff. And all along, somebody is recording this and they didn't put it on social media. Wow. Now, how you not going to know that somebody is going to put this on social media? Because nowadays we can't do nothing, nothing without somebody putting it on social media. Period, y'all. So be real careful what you're doing out here in these streets, in these real streets, in these internet streets, y'all. Real talk. 
Because the streets, both of them is hot. So one of the brothers of uh, Drew's lover, he sees it on social media. He takes it to his mama and tell his mama something ain't right. Something is fishy that's going on. And so the mama was like, oh, okay, we need to speak to Drew again. So now they own to him. They is on to Drew. Yes, they are. So, guys, it's going to be a big blow up between the Tejadas and this family. I know it. I feel it. It's about to go down. Now, they over at Monet's house, Tyrese. Um, Monet, uh, Effie shows up and Kane is there. And Effie tells them she know what they did. She don't agree with it. They could have told her. Um, but she understands why they did it. And she said, you coming? Talking to Kane. And he like, yeah, I'm coming. Boo. He ain't say that part, y'all. I just added that in. But he went on behind Effie. And then uh, T Tariq is like, did you know about that? And Monet was like, I don't care who fucking who. You know, let's get back down to business. Stay focused. Y'all, we getting down to the nitty gritty. This is the end of the episode where... um. David's brother is in the back of Sack's car when he comes out of work, puts a gun to his head, y'all, and was like, drive. So he took him to, um, he took him on over there to where he used to like when they used to go when they was kids with the airplanes and all that. And so he like, he was going to take care of it. Davis and Tyreek, they didn't realize that that's what was going on. So now they trying to run on over there. Uh, Cause David said he think he got an idea where he could have took them, so they trying to run on over there. They gets to them, they seize them. They're trying to talk him down, but he ain't having it. So he politely says that he don't have much time to live anyway. So he shoots Sax. Yes, he did. So then after he shoots Sax, he say, uh, he tell him, "Give me the gun, give me the gun." Davis was telling his brother, "Give me the gun," and he was like, um. But no, he was like, he ain't giving them the gun. And Sax was like, it's going, no. Davis was like, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And he was like, I know it's going to be okay. Put the gun right here. Took himself out. Yes. The brother shot Sax, then shot himself. Took both of them out. And Davis was crying and holding on to the gate. And Tyrese, he couldn't believe it, guys. It was crazy. So, meanwhile, Effie and Kane, they back over at the apartment because they ready to get down and dirty again. Yep. And while they started getting down and dirty, it was a knock at the door. And they trying to play like they the cleaning people or some people to fix something or something. So, Effie opens the door and it's the police. So, they handcuffs her and all of that. They walking her out and she like, uh, uh, you don't have nothing on me and all of that. And Lauren raises down the window and Effie can't believe what she's seeing. Kane comes out. He can't believe what he's seeing. That Lauren is alive. Yes, guys. And I know that Effie shouldn't have um, been trying to kill her, but they now they're trying to get on attempt murder. And I know she shouldn't have been trying to kill her, y'all. But I like Effie, and I hope she beat these charges, guys. But like I said, if y'all not watching this show, y'all need to get into it because it is really, really good. So with all of that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all back here next Saturday so we can do this review yet again. So if you have not subscribed over here, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to my thousand, me and my husband. I am trying to... Uh get it out there so please share 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 this channel with your friends co-workers family whoever who knew if you are not subscribed to who knew go over there and subscribe to who knew if you have not checked out the lip gloss go check out the lip gloss so with all that being said guys have a wonderful day deuces